Hi, it's Leif here, and I'm going to be showing you throughout this video series how to use the basics of audio tools. And by the end of the series, you should be ready to get making full music tracks. In this video, I'll be showing you one of the base concepts of audio tools, choosing and editing loops. Down here is what we call the timeline. This is where we will see how and when our songs will play in your music. This is where we will see our loop playing. Over here are our tools and applications. In the drum section, there are tools that make different drum sounds. In the synth section, there are tools that make different tunes. And in the tools section, there is a variety of different applications. And in the effects section, there are little boxes that modify your song in many different ways. If you click up here, you will find the library. This is where we will choose our loop. But before we do, let's drag the audio track into our desktop. We are doing this so a loop can be dragged into our timeline. We don't want our audio track to be linked directly to our master output because we want more sounds playing at once other than our loop. You'll see what I mean later. The solution to this problem is to put in a mixer or cobalt. So let's unplug this wire and grab the cobalt. So with this, you can have 16 tools plugged to our master output rather than just one. So let's plug our audio track into input one. And as you can see, there are 16 inputs here. Now we can drag a loop into our timeline. So let's go to the loop library and click the loop section. So loop over here. As you can see, we have thousands of loops to choose from below. For a more precise search, you can type what you want here. If you click on these icons to the left, you get to hear what they sound like. So let's click on them. So uh, once you have picked your loop, just click it and drag it down to your timeline. Once you wait for it to load, It'll be ready for you to play. Alright. So let's dissect what we're going to use in our timeline. This blue line represents which part of our song will loop if this replay button is activated. Let me show you what I mean. If you can drag it forwards and backwards. I hope you got what I mean. So let's drag this back over here. This is the play button, the stop button, and the record button. Pretty simple meanings. And um, this slider here shows you which part of the song is playing and um, you can expand it and put it back together to zoom in and out. Time to edit our loop. If you double click this you'll get the waveform of the loop so let's double click it. Well um, these two little things over here are called region markers. The duration of the loop will stay the same but only what is selected will play. Let me give you an example. Let's just make this bigger. Oh, I'm sorry. Zoom in. Oh, 
Okay. Let's say I'm happy with that. Um, over here is what we call the slice tool, next to our normal cursor select and modify tool. We can use this to slice our loop into smaller chunks. And we can also change this to make smaller cuts. So let's go 1 16th. Okay, so as you can see now, the, the line, the vertical lines are smaller, allowing smaller cuts. So let's select the slice tool and make our cuts. Let's go over here, over here, over here, and over here. Okay, now let's go back to our select tool and delete this extra bit. So just click the delete button on our keyboard. Okay, so now we can edit these chunks further using the region markers to, com to create a completely different noise than our original one. Okay, that first chunk sounds pretty good. Let's do this one. Did I mention that you could click the middle of the region markers and dr click the middle of the region markers and drag to select what part of the region markers are playing instead of just using them? So let's just drag this blue bit over here. Yeah, that sounds good. So let's edit this one now. Okay, yeah, now let's do this one. Now we can just it's a bit it's a bit weird at the end of each chunk, so let's use zoom in a bit more and close them in. So there there maybe. Oh no, let's keep the small ones normal. Okay, now let's put it back together. Right, now let's play it. Okay, now that we've made a new sound, let's do the same thing but add drums instead. First we need to add a new audio track, so let's go over here and uh, go audio track and drag it on. And let's label it drums by clicking on the name and going drums, then click enter. So um, now that we've got that in there, let's go to our library and select loop, then drum. And you've got a whole wide range of drum things to choose from, such as this one. Let's drag it over here. Okay. Now let's cut it up and edit it just like what we did with uh, our, our first bass line. So let's cut it here, here, and here so it'll be neat. Let's go. Okay, let's edit this bit, the smaller bit, over here, and uh, we'll use our region markers. Let's see how I made it 132th instead. We'll use our region markers to select what bit we want. So let's go over there and um, move that a tad. And um, sometimes the, the region marker is like one. Do doesn't want to move for some reason. Yeah, you've just got to work around that. So let's close that in. Uh, open it one more. Move it to the right a bit. Let's try it. There's a little break in there, so uh, let's try to fix.
politics around that. Okay, so now let's do this other middle bit. And um, let's choose, oh no, say this bit. Okay. Nah. Okay, well, you get my drift. It doesn't really sound that great, but um, for the purpose of learning, uh, there you go. And you can just keep on adding audio tracks and editing them to your wish. Um, well, happy hunting for the 